For two hours from Tokyo, we're here in the Japanese Alps for an exotic ski adventure. Powder snows, stunning slopes and monkeys in hot springs. All in this first edition of Japan Life, a winter paradise in the land of the rising sun. In one word, the snow quality in Hakuba, extraordinary. Because we have lots of fresh snow here, we call it snow paradise. In Hakuba, the landscape looks like a painting. With the mountains around us, you feel immersed in nature. And I think that's magnificent. The three friends live in Hakuba in the northern part of the Japanese Alps, also called the Roof of Japan. They spend every day on the slopes training and indulging their passion. Majestic mountain ranges as high as 3,000 meters surround the valley. It was here that ski legends like the Hermanator, Hermann Meyer, made history during the Winter Olympics in the Gano in 1998. After a long day on the slopes, it's time to relax and we head northeast of Nagano to discover something dearly loved by the Japanese since ancient times, hot springs called onsen. Still a volcanically active country, Japan boasts thousands of geothermal springs, more than anywhere else on earth. A bath in the hot, mineral-rich water signifies purity, peace and harmony. And these natural minerals are renowned for their healing power. Traditionally, we say exposing the soul. That means to purify the body and soul in the hot bath. We also say that onsen gives you long life. And it's not just humans that love the hot springs. In Hell's Valley, we discover a unique scene. Snow monkeys are soaking blissfully in the steaming volcanic water. Is their social hotspot. The world's most northern dwelling primates lounge for hours in the bath at a comfortable 40 degrees. Leaving the snow monkeys in peace, we make our way to Nagano, where celebrations for the new year are underway. The Takeuchi family spend the most important holiday of the year together. Makiko has put on her colorful kimono, a centuries-old tradition. I chose the kimono myself, and I decided to take this one because I think the round form of the chrysanthemum looks beautiful. When I wear the kimono, I feel graceful and serene. The family's first meal of the year is a sumptuous, symbolic and traditional feast. On the menu for the next three days, a sechi, the food of luck, which Makiko has prepared with her family. Each colorful dish has a special meaning, such as good fortune, health, or happiness. <laughs> Kamaboko, surumi, has the shape of the rising sun and this signifies the New Year's celebrations. We've cut this one to decorate it nicely. Later, I'd like to continue to prepare these dishes with my children and hand down this tradition to the next generation. Funny 
will leave the Japanese Alps behind us now and head towards the south. In the next, Japan Life will discover the islands of the Sito Inland Sea. On offer is a world-famous shrine, a paradise for cycling enthusiasts and the breathtaking island of art. Thank you.